Welcome back. Okay, the NBA draft is happening tonight in Brooklyn, and there are four young men that we will be keeping an extra close eye on. The four former U of A players will learn their fate. ESPN Tucson, Zach Clark is here. Already all of the gentlemen in the uh, studio have been asking you a million questions. <laughs> We've been talking for a while, yeah. Yes, they're like, Zach, what's going to happen? <laughs> I love Who's it. going where? So do you have a little insight? Shake my magic eight. Yeah. <laughs> Arizona's been so successful in the draft going backwards, and that starts even before Lute Olsen was here through all his time uh, with Fred Snowden. And then now Sean Miller has been able to pick that back up, and he's been rolling with it ever since Derek Williams was picked second uh, in 2011. So tonight Arizona's got four guys in the draft. Stanley Johnson likely goes first from the Cats batch. I like him in the top ten, eight to Detroit maybe. Um, and with Rondé Hollis Jefferson, the kid's personality is so huge, and his defensive skill sets are such that he's really going to fill a need, but I'm not sure exactly where to look for him, maybe 20 to 25 in the first round. And then TJ McConnell and Brandon Ashley, both of them, their draft future is a little more murky. Late in the second round for TJ, Brandon probably not at all, but not getting drafted, so not the end of the world for either one of those guys. You can sign on with the team, get into a summer league, get into camp, and see if you can work your way on, though every kid wants to hear. I mean, like you said, it's in Brooklyn. Yeah. Millions of people are watching. All those kids want to hear their names called. They've been waiting their whole life for a moment like this. That's why I love tonight because, again, these kids work so hard from when they're just little kids, and tonight everything changes. It's amazing. Wow. This is the night. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> This so is a, exciting. I mean, and some of these kids are going to go on to become millionaires tens, if not hundreds of times over. It, it's unbelievable. Well, you're, and you're talking about money. Wasn't it Lute Olsen has made like over $1 billion right. in his recruit? So kids that have come to play for Lute Olsen, and then there's still a few of them left in the league, Andre Iguodala, Jason Terry, uh, a couple other ones. Um, they've made over a billion dollars with a B playing That's basketball. A so billion dollars. There's five of them that have made over a hundred wow. million dollars on their own. Gilbert Arenas made over a hundred and eighty million dollars playing basketball. It's unbelievable. And so now you can look at Sean Miller and he can begin to build that with some of the guys that he has now. Well we have what how many f four guys that have made uh, championships just with Golden State? Yeah I mean you look at the Golden State Warriors and what they did. Uh, Steve Kerr, beloved Arizona Wildcat, part of that 88 Final Four team, uh, the head coach, Andre Godala, was the MVP. And he's one of those guys that came here with Lute Olsen a little bit later on, and he really has excelled later on in his NBA career. And then uh, Bruce Frazier and Luke Walton uh, as assistant coaches. So, yeah, it's been a great year for Arizona Wildcats basketball, even after the season ended. Yeah. Right. Okay, so what if some of these guys don't get drafted? What happens? Okay, so no matter what happens, these guys, everybody rookie-wise ends up in Las Vegas or Florida this summer where they have summer leagues. It's almost like a short minor league system, so to say. So you take a bunch of guys, maybe there's 100, maybe there's 200, you put them in a room, you work them out and see how it goes. Those that are drafted and have contracts obviously know where they're going. Those that don't have a chance to prove themselves and still latch on. So if you don't get drafted, certainly tonight does not end your basketball future. It makes it a little bit tougher, but certainly, and then if not in the NBA, a lot of guys go overseas and make a whole lot of money yes. living in places like Paris, Frankfurt, London, or you can go to South America, Rio. I mean, you live in these places and you're making all kinds of money. You're 20 some years old, traveling around the world. It's not a bad gig. Sounds horrible. Look. Yeah, right? <laughs> we should all be so lucky. Right? Yeah. No, and you know, when I think about draft, and I think, you know, whenever the guys hear their names called and they try to keep it cool and calm, yeah. you know that they are just freaking out on the yeah. outside. Yeah, well, and you can tell it with the, uh, usually when, especially with the guys that are projected to go earlier, they put them in the green room backstage, yeah. and they'll have their families with them, their agents with them, and you'll see usually, like, the kid is a little more calm, but his mom and dad and the agent, everybody very excited, because it is, it's a life-changing experience, and these kids have worked so hard, and a lot of sacrifice along the yeah. way for the family, so, yeah, uh, I don't know how they, I would be. Yeah, right? Uh, I don't know how they Doing like a dance. Yeah. I, mean, I got something going on. Absolutely. And I know we're talking basketball, but a lot of people, everybody, is already kind of looking into the fall already. Of course. What are you thinking about football for us? You look at the Arizona Wildcats and what they did last year, 10-win season, hasn't happened in a very long time, over a decade. Expectation coming back for them is going to be as high as it's been in a long time. The only snag is the Pac-12 South, Arizona's division within the conference, is as strong as it's been maybe 15, 20 years. So while Arizona is strong, the conference returns even stronger. So you're going to see a lot of big battles uh, coming down this fall. So I can't wait. August can't come soon enough. Look, see, I told you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm always excited. We talk football anytime. I love it. And that's why I love your talk show because that's Thank where you. we can hear it all. Yeah. Anytime, three to six, Monday through Friday. Oh, look at that! They should definitely be listening to you and not me because. <laughs> oh, come on! Don't all sell yourself short. <laughs>
Don't sell yourself short. I'll come down and hang out in school anytime. See? I love it. I love no, it. you know, yeah. I went to the U of A, college basketball. It's that a thing. I actually know about. That's yeah. the one thing. But it's great hearing you talk about it because I didn't know about all this tonight. This is so exciting. Now I want to see who gets picked. Right. And for those Arizona Wildcats fans, it's great in the NBA because you can follow them yep. as they go on, become pros, and become stars. You don't ever have to stop watching them even after they leave. We, can, we knew him when, huh? Yeah, well, that's right. Zach, thank you so much thank for being you, ladies, here today. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. And listen, you can listen to Zach talk sports on weekday afternoons from 3 to 6 p.m. on ESPN Tucson 1490 and 1049. For more information, you can visit ESPNTucson.com.